Unless you are a part of a certain organization, you probably heard that the Earth is not flat. In fact, it's not round either, and it has an irregular surface. I promise you that I will try my best to explain this very complex subject very clearly. The specialist in geodesy and cartography found that the surface that represents the best shape of the Earth is a geoid. A geoid is an equipotential surface that best fits the average surface of Earth oceans and the Earth gravity field. The geoid height is not standardized as different countries use different mean sea levels as a reference. Because there was a need of calculating uh, coordinates on different points of the Earth's surface, there was a need for a mathematical figure that approximates the Earth's form. The base shape found was a spheroid or an ellipsoid, uh, which is a sphere flattening on the poles. In the late 1950s, the United States Department of Defense, together with the scientists and other institutions and countries, developed a wall system which uh, the geodetic data could be referred and uh, compatibility established between the coordinates and widely separate. The term Dayton used here refers to a smooth surface somehow arbitrary defined as zero elevation consistent of a set of surveys measurements of distances between various stations and differences in elevation or reduced to a grid of latitude, longitude and elevation. This model has been updated since and the last version is WGS84, adopted in 1984 but updated a few times since. Imagine that this datum is a compromise that best represents the whole Earth but can have big errors in some parts of the planet. That requires for each country to adopt a datum that will represent the best their interest. There are hundreds of local horizontal datums around the world, usually referenced to some convenient local point. Contemporary datums based on increasingly accurate measurements of the shape of the Earth are intended to cover larger areas. From the WGS84 datum, there have been derivatives like NAT83 datum used in North America and ETRS89 datum used in Europe. Geographic coordinates, latitude and longitude are difficult to use analytically, so cartographers uh, project the ellipsoid up to different surfaces to provide flat maps. In map projection, coordinates often express as latitude and longitude of the locations from the surface of the groups are transferred to coordinates on a plane. Projection is a necessary step in creating two-dimensional maps and is one of the essential elements of cartography. All projection of a sphere on a plane necessarily distort the surface in some way to, and to some extent. Depending on the purpose of the map, some distortions are acceptable, others are not. Therefore, different map projections exist in order to preserve some properties of the sphere-like body to the expense of other properties. Drones usually use WGS84 coordinates to geotag the photos, so these coordinates usually need to be transformed. Finally, national grid coordinates basically transform the degrees, minutes, and seconds from the ellipsoid to meters of feet if you live in the US onto map projection. Good thing is that uh, there are uh, official GPS transformations for uh, the coordinates, but the bad thing is that there are so many and you need to know exactly which one you're going to use. If you go into the QGIS uh, uh, library file, you will see loads of transformation and you will understand what I mean. If you like this video, press the like button and uh, I create this video to show you how to convert different files in QGIS.